So I'm in Ireland. First time back in Ireland in nearly 10 years. And I'm being treated well being back in Ireland. Just look at this fucking room. So I'm just outside the city of Cork, close to Middleton. Uh, we're in a place called Castle Martyr. It's like a five star resort and uh, I can't afford staying here. But luckily, I'm not paying for it. It's another one of the whiskey trips. This time with Jemison. Getting here was not the easiest thing. Flew out of Oslo into Heathrow in London, then we had delays out of there, all that stuff. So we just arrived here now. I've been traveling basically all day to get here and I haven't eaten anything. Uh, I've had one beer. I definitely need to go and eat some more and drink some more. <laughs> Time for some more whiskey. But before we do that, I need to show you this place. We got picked up at the hotel and driven to Middleton Distillery, where we attended the Irish Whiskey Academy. So welcome to the classroom. So yeah, get comfortable. Here we learned everything there is to know about Irish whiskey production. It's been a long time since I was in a classroom, but where this one differed... Everyone take one of these glasses. Was that here? there was alcohol to be sampled. As a part of learning what stages alcohol goes through before becoming whiskey, we got to try what's called new make, straight from the stills, to get a better understanding of this wonderful liquid. All right, so we did get some drinking, finally. Um, but the drinking got cut halfway through because we need a little bit of a packing. So we're gonna go now for a lunch down in the town of Middleton. And I'm probably gonna go back and do some more drinking. <laughs> so we're going back now, having a few more drinks. Because now we got that packing going, so we can get the drinking going. When we came back from lunch, we got to try some of the same liquids we tried earlier. But this time, they were aged for various amounts of time. This part, I enjoyed immensely. And then the class continued to teach us about the importance of barrels and the aging of whiskey. After that, we were taken down to one of the many warehouses on site to see where the whiskey is aged and for a special treat. So everyone grab a glass and then if you can hold it in, I'm gonna pour it for you. You can see what it looks like and then I'll tell you what it is, but I've already kind of bigged it up. It's gonna be probably the best one of the day, so. This is, so it's actually a port cast, first of all, which I said is my favorite, so that's a good starting point. So sometimes we get the port in, not a, a pipe is a slightly bigger cast. This is actually a butt, 500 liters port. So it was seasoned with port wine before I came here. The whiskey, went in here um, and you can find this out by the uh, tag there in the front like I said every cask gets a serial number there's a date on the serial number there oh my god oh, yeah. so it went in there in 1995 oh. but actually this was originally distilled in 1989 <laughs> so this is 34 year old it spent six years in a bourbon barrel and it spent the last 28 years 
in a pork cask. <laughs> Obviously, I've taken it straight from the cask, but you won't need any water. This one, this one's like a nectar. So on the nose of this one, you'll get some of those dark fruits, plums and prunes, cherries. There's a bit of orange, kind of orange peel there. And just let this one melt into the palate. So, let's launch it. Launch it. Launch it. Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. So much flavor. And a real explosion of flavor. Yeah. yeah. You're oh, going to wow. get like orange peel, yeah. plums, a lot of cherries. Orange. That mm. warm and spice. There's lots of tannin there. You can kind of feel it lingering. Really sticks to the oily. Well. Yeah, it's really oily and dense. So, like, this is. This is actually a part of the mix for a Redbreast 27 year old. Mm. There's some pork casks like this in, in the mix of Redbreast 27 year old. We do actually sell casks of whiskey to, to private individuals. We don't sell anything newly made, so it's all mature whiskey uh, that we sell and starts at 80,000 euro <laughs> for a 12 year old. This will be in around a million euro. Oh, wow. there, there. So enjoy every drop of, of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many casks of this do you think you have? Like very small numbers of that age and stuff. Yeah, you're talking. Yeah, very low double digits, if even that much. Shit, yeah. What? How many people you taking here to taste this? Only these VIPs. <laughs> okay. Like to come for these oh. Yeah. So there's not many people get to try these. I'll be back when I'm in the water. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> With a heavy heart, we left the warehouse and that beautiful cask of whiskey we sampled behind. Unfortunately, none of us had a million euros to take it with us. But that wasn't the last whiskey of the day. We then went down to the master distiller's house on site for a tasting of Middleton Distillery's core whiskey brands. Uh, back at the hotel there now, and I made a bed. That's good. I have to make another mess then tonight. You know, in these beds, you know, they, they look great and all, but like, I hate that I have to make such a mess to get in them. I mean, I can fold it, but you know. I like a good amount of pillows, but I don't need this one, don't need that one, I don't need this one either. All of these I'll probably use, but the duvet is like under here, so like, ugh. you know, it looks great, but. And the first day of the Irish Whiskey Academy is over. But the rest of the day is all about just enjoying. So we're gonna have a nice dinner, have some more drinks. I'm probably gonna go check out the pool. And then we're gonna try and find a nice wee local pub that we can go have a stout in. But what do I do first? Stout or swim? Stout. Swim. Oh. Well, it was more of a sit than a swim, but now it's dinner. Dinner has been had. It is time for the last thing on the list. We're gonna try and find a nice wee local pub that we can go have a stout in. So the time has come for us to leave this beautiful place. And what a fucking experience it was to stay here. Amazing hotel. If you can afford it, or just want to treat yourself, come to Castle Martyr. But before we leave Ireland, we're gonna go back to the Whiskey Academy at Middleton Distillery and learn some more. Back at the distillery and the Whiskey Academy. Right now we're heading down to the craft distillery part of Middleton Distillery where unfortunately I'm not allowed to film. <laughs>
So I can't take you along in there, but I think it will be one of the funnest part. That's where they make red breast and all the spots and you know things like that. But there's gonna be another part after that that I can film that's gonna be equally as cool. So we're just gonna pop in here. We need our hard hats on, and then I see you on the other side. Hard hats off, merch hat on. So I got to make some shots inside of the of the craft distillery, but we went behind the scenes and that's where I couldn't take any shots, unfortunately. Now we're gonna go down here and get a demo from the Coopers in the Cooperage inside this warehouse. And the Coopers, for those that don't know, are the ones who make the barrels, these things. Master Cooper Gare Buckley told us the history of barrel making and then showed us his tools that has been passed down to him through his family's long line of coopers and is now the tools he still uses to make his barrels today. Gare then proceeded to take a barrel apart to demonstrate how a barrel is put together and is prepped to age whiskey. Man, that was absolutely incredible. It's just an amazing demonstration by the, by the Master Cooper here at Middleton Distillery. It's a job passed down through generations from from his family, his grandfather, his father, people before that, generations of his family has been doing that exact job. And it's such an important job to the whiskey making process. Putting together a wooden barrel, completely out of wood, that's not leaking to age whiskey for 50 years plus minus. It's just absolutely incredible. It's just done by pure skill and experience. And this man definitely had that. Before we leave, I'm gonna see one more thing which is the biggest pot still in the world. And that's right here. <laughs> Fuck. No longer in use, but still absolutely incredible. And this is just the top of it. It continues down below. Irish whiskey is triple distilled. So that's number one, the wash still. And then the other ones continue in here. Our time at Middleton Distillery has come to an end. And so has our time here in Ireland. But I will make sure it won't be another 10 years before I'm back on the Emerald Isle.